New tonight, a Republican congressman has come up with a plan to fund the president's border wall by penalizing the countries whose citizens enter the U.S. illegally. Republicans control both houses of Congress, so why aren't they getting more done on the immigration front? Will this be one of those things? Let's ask the man who's putting the plan forward. Arizona Congressman Andy Biggs, member of the House Freedom Caucus, joins us live. Congressman, welcome. Thank you, Shannon. Good to be with you. Okay, so my understanding is there's essentially a $2,000 charge ahead for people who are caught here coming illegally, and what will happen is the U.S. would deduct those amounts from the foreign aid going to these countries, whether it's Mexico, Guatemala, China, wherever it is. Is that correct? That's correct. I mean, if we're giving uh, U.S. aid and they're not helping us, uh, which is the case in many of these countries, and we find these people crossing the border illegally or visa overstays, that we're going to charge them $2,000 by reducing that from the foreign aid that they have. I think that's, that's, the small, that's a small part of the, the funding mechanism that I've put together, but, but it is an important part because it provides an additional deterrent. Mm -hmm. So right now, Mexico is not really uh, enforcing the, helping us enforce their, our border. This will help them uh, be inspired to help us. Okay, so I want to give you a chance to respond to a couple of critics on Twitter who are responding to your plan. Mark R. says this, yes, stealing money from the governments of countries where people are fleeing from poverty and violence will certainly help alleviate those issues and stop people from trying to escape them by coming here. He says stealing money. This is foreign aid, right? Yeah, it's foreign aid. It's not stealing money. It's, it's money that we have been providing. And um, these are people, uh, many of these people are crossing not at ports of uh, entry. They're not coming through legally trying to get into our country. They are breaking into our country. They are coming to our country illegally. Some are, we have no idea who these people are, but we know that they're in the neighborhood of uh, half a million people that we will actually apprehend. We don't even know what the multiplier is. It may be a million people, maybe two million people that actually crossed the border illegally this year. All right, let me give you another one. Uh, a Moment in Time tweets this. Good luck with that. What a waste of time. The GOP can't even ca pass their own hardline immigration bills. Just stop the show, man. <laughs> well, it's not meant to be a show. It's, it's meant to actually pr provide a funding mechanism for the wall that all of us kind of pledged to, uh, we would do when we were running for, for office. It's what propelled President Trump to the presidency, quite frankly. And I think it's something I promised. I know it's something I promised, and I think it's something many promised. So I'm trying to find a funding mechanism and provide impetus uh, and inspiration for my, my colleagues in Congress to actually pass this bill, get it out there, get the bill up, or get the, get the wall up so we can actually slow down human traf uh, smuggling, drug trafficking, and, and let's, let's enforce our border. Well, we know there, it's a heavy lift to get anything done on the Hill right now. Uh, keep us informed, Congressman Biggs, about how it goes. Thank you, Shannon. Thanks for joining us.